Hey guys, uh, this is the new uh, implant prosthetic kit, universal prosthetic kit that I recently purchased. I uh, just want to go over some basic features of this. So in general, each implant company has a different driver. These are all different drivers and then they often have different torque wrenches. So the challenge is you get a patient that's from a different office moving from out of state and they have an implant and you have to order the driver and the torque wrench. It can be rather expensive. Um, there's all kinds of reasons why this, this universal kit is really, really powerful. So number one is you only have one driver for pretty much every single implant scenario you're gonna run into. So as we can see here, we have Nobel, short and long, Strawman short and long, and then a whole bunch of other implants um, that use the hex, um, hex prosthetic driver. So in general, uh, you may need to know what hex driver you use if you're not using Nobel or Strawman. Um, this is a universal kit, so there's a lot of international implant companies on here. Uh, for example, BioHorizon, which we use, isn't articulated here, not even in this, this guy here. Uh, but the BioHorizon uses a 1.27 hex, which is equivalent to the 0 0.050 inches hex. So again, there's always a conversion between uh, millimeters and inches. So BioHorizon uses the green. The blue will also work, but the green is the more specific one. Um, so as you can see here, it's really just nice color-coded, um, short and long. And then we have one driver, which works with all of these. So again, BioHorizon is the green one. We have Nobel and Strawman. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of others here. Um, but in general, you don't necessarily need to see the name of your system here. You just need to know what hex it is. In general, a 1.2 hex, 1.2 millimeters, is 0 0.048 inches. So Megagen, for example, and there's another company that uses um, the 1.2 uh, as you can see, Megagen right here. So knowing the conversion is important. 1.27 is the 0 0.050 hex, which is also a very common um, sized hex. So I'm gonna quickly come over to this here. Uh, this driver here is a conventional torque wrench, but it works with all of these. So you only need this that'll work with every implant system. Um, if you haven't played with implants a lot, I can't tell you how valuable this is. You know, we've often been in situations where we're trying to find the the wrench, we have the driver, or we have the wrench and not the driver, vice you know, vice versa. So here we have the standard um, analog wrench. These have been shown to be more accurate. I can't speak to the accuracy of this. I don't think this is of super high quality, so we may actually switch these out. Uh, with that said, just the convenience of having a bunch of these in the office has been super helpful. So right in inside here, you see a little little guy sticking out right there. That is what grabs onto the torque wrench, or sorry, the driver. So as I twist here, there's one direction that you're going to hear the clicks. Let's actually go to the longer driver, so I can hold on to it better. All right, what allows that to happen is there's a little guy that sits right there. When you play with this with your hand, you'll see it. Now what controls that is this toggle right here. So you see the arrow, you pull, rotate it, and then I just change the arrow to a different direction. So right now that arrow is set up for me to tighten, okay, because I'm using the torque wrench here. Yes, you can tighten the, well, you can tighten the other way if you flip it. Uh, basically, just know that pulling this and rotating it is what moves the two different directions. Now, this guy here, you can loosen this, will pull this guy out. So, if you're not getting engagement when you do this, I would tighten this serrated wheel here. Make sure that this is seated all the way. So, I actually just turned it and it actually slid in a little bit better. So play around with this, toggle it back and forth. But in general, if it's not grabbing, it's because this guy needs to be turned and pushed a little bit, or this needs to be tightened, at which point you're ready to go. All right, you can flip it over and do the same thing to take it out. 
All right, so that's the universal prosthetic driver. Uh, we got this on Amazon. This is probably an Alibaba uh, purchased kit. In other words, the company made a bunch of these and then there's a bunch of resellers on Amazon. Which brings me to the point, I can't speak to the quality of the metal here. So if we start to feel like these are slipping, let's just throw them out. You know, uh, maybe over time we can re replace these with authentic drivers. The problem is authentic drivers have different uh, wrenches and they're not color coded. So the simplicity of this is probably worth us having 20 of these kits at 100 and I think it's $180 a kit um, versus buying all authentic drivers. With that said, we have to be cognizant of the fact that this metal may not be as high grade as the Strom and Nobel authentic drivers. So that's it. I hope everybody enjoys this kit. We've we got five of them for the practice and um, we'll order more if we need, but it really should simplify things. Take care.